Welcome back. Our next guest is a former board certified pediatrician that uses her health expertise to teach wellness to people of all ages. She's also the chief wellness officer, owner of Manifest Excellence, and is a successful published author. Dr. Donna Hamilton joins us this morning to share the three tips to cope with workplace stress, and we welcome her to Virginia this morning. And talk about workplace stress, right? Yeah, especially <laughs> yeah. in the newsroom, right? Yeah, and uh, so we're so bombarded by so many different things. You know, the news, our business, you know, your car, you get up in the morning, your car doesn't start. You've got to get the kids ready. You've got to get to work, red light, you know, cars honking. Mm -hmm. How do you separate <laughs> that? <laughs> I know. It can be overwhelming, right? Well, first, don't stress about stress because that's one more thing. And people do that. They're yeah. like, oh, I know I'm supposed to be calm because stress management is an important part of healthy living. It's one of my favorite healthy habits. Mm -hmm. But don't stress about stress, right? Stress happens, but the negative effects don't have to. So it's like important, that. right? You're right. Yeah. And so we can remember that. And sometimes we can reduce stress. So there's stress reduction. And of course, when we can reduce it, let's do it. But like you said, life happens, all those things happen. So sometimes the best we can hope for is to manage it. Mm -hmm. And managing it, um, the best way to do it is to have a holistic approach, right? Because yeah. there's more to being healthy than just food and fitness, right? So when you say holistic, what does that mean? What does it encompass? It? Like mind, body, spirit, circumstance. Because being healthy is about more than not being sick. It's functioning at your best, physically, mentally, emotionally, socially, and spiritually. So we want to think about stress management too, having a plan to deal with all those things, your, your body, your mind, your your spirit and your circumstances. So a, a, a whole approach, holistic, yeah. All right, so we, we have three tips we want to talk about. I'm sure there are more, but let's <laughs> let's tackle these first three. Mm -hmm. Taking care of the mind, the body and mind. Absolutely, because the body and mind are always, you know, are always talking together, but that's usually the first tip. Uh, first thing that people think about when they say I'm stressed, their body aches and mm -hmm. they just feel anxious. So I like to do um, something that you get more bang for your buck. So one way to, to do something to where you can relax your body, your mind, and your emotions all once mental vacation like so mental vacation your mental and you can okay. you can get some real results so what do you like to do for vacation uh, I go to Jamaica. We'll just you say. know, Jamaica's great, right? Yeah. So what you do is you you can do this at work. You know, close your eyes, picture that you are in the beach, but use all, water. Yeah, but use all your senses because that shifts your mind. So you want to hear the oceans, you want to smell wow. the salt, you want to picture it, you want to feel the sand. And what you're doing is you're shifting your mind from all those worry thoughts, and then you're shifting yourself into relaxation, and your body will start to respond. So you can come back, and you can do that. You know. If you, depending on where you work, maybe you go to the restroom, but 30 min, 30 seconds, a minute. And walk outside, maybe. Yeah, walk outside, whole, yes, but okay. use all your, using all your senses helps you transport yourself and gives your body a physical response, but the focusing on the senses gets your mind relaxed, and then your emotions will follow. You'll feel more joyful and peaceful. Great, like that. Let's, so yeah. let's go. Don't let current mm -hmm. events hijack your spirit. Your spirit. Absolutely. All those things you said. Remembering your spirit, your life purpose. That's a good way for you to stop feeling out of control because feeling out of control leads to more stress and that fight or flight. So remember your purpose, whatever that is for you. So if you're at work and life is getting crazy or you're feeling like, you're, like why am I here? Remembering what your purpose is. It might be your family. It might be a personal mission, making a difference in life. That can help you get out of feeling out of control and helpless and remembering you're choosing to be there even if it doesn't feel like a choice mm -hmm. you're choosing to be there because you're taking care of something more important in the world I find sometimes if I just stop and take a deep breath yes it's sort of you know it grounds and centers yeah. you that's another way it calms your body and focusing on your breath makes it mindful so you're not worrying about what's going on yeah. at work you're focusing on yourself even for those 10 seconds of a breath breath is wonderful stress reduction and then let's have an action plan to feel in control of circumstances right because like we said that um, feeling out of control is part of what can further trigger that physical response and emotional response so whatever that is for you a social plan another great tip at work especially have a friend at work. It sounds cliche, but research shows having a best friend at work helps people feel better. They feel better about their work, believe mm -hmm. it or not. They feel better about how they're treated. And then practically, you can have someone you can pull aside when you have, is it me? You know, you, you, sometimes you, have, you need a reality yeah. check. So that can help you actually feel more in control at work. And then there's practical things, depending on some, some jobs, you're on the front line. So if you feel like you know, you're worried about your physical safety, 
Make sure you have a plan, you know, where the exits are, you know what the emergency plans are, you know, so doing, doing that mentally preparing helps you feel more in control. We keep coming back to that mm -hmm. because stress is a, um, a response to um, a real or perceived threat. So even if you're safe but you feel feeling out of control and you're not feeling safe, then that triggers that physical and emotional response. And it can kill. And yes, yes. Stress, stress is very real. All right, well, thank you so much. Yes. And uh, for more information on Dr. Donna Hamilton and Manifest Excellence, we'll post a link on our show website later today at WTVR.com slash BTN. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you.